Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 373. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 371 to 376. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to randomly select numbers or words without getting any repeats. So our first one, we'll do randomly select three numbers between 1 and 50 without a repeat. Now. We're going to use the mrand function, and you have to go uh, either have the more funk Excel add-in, or go watch this magic trick, and it'll show you how to where to get it, how to download it, and all and install it, and all that kind of stuff. Awesome, 66 new functions. All right, there's a couple, there's lots of ways to use this function mrand. So do mrand. Now, one thing is it doesn't have any screen tips, so you can click up here, and it will give you some help size. No, it says number of the random variables to return, base, lowest number, 0 or 1, scope, that's the upper limit, like 50, 1 to 50, and static, whether you want it to be uh, a volatile or not. Not only that, but this, func this help on this function right here is just spectacular. It gives you all sorts of great examples. Now I'm just going to do it uh, uh, here in the cells. Okay, the first argument is how many. So we want to return 3, so I'm going to put a 3, comma. The second argument is whether you want to go from 0 to some upper number or 1 up to some other number. So I'm going to put 1. And since I want to go 1 to 50, I'm going to put a 50. If you put a 0, it will go from 0 to 49. All right, and that's it. Ah, but you have to use Control Shift Enter to enter this formula. And I want to return three numbers, so I've highlighted three cells, Control Shift Enter. Now this is volatile because I didn't use that fourth argument. So if I hit F9, you can see there will not be any repeats. It's selecting between 1 and 50. Now there's another way to do that very same um, select three from 50 without repeats, mrand. The first argument you could just leave off because the size of the highlighted area will determine, comma. And I'm going to leave off this argument too. Remember, it tells you to start at 1 or 0. Um, and then finally, we want to say 50. Now, what will this this will do, because we left that second argument off, 0 start at 0 or 1 start at 1, it will give us from 0 to 49. I think if I hit F9, let's see if we can get a 0. It may take a while. There's a 0. There's a 0. So one thing that you will see in people's spreadsheets is that they'll add 1 to the end. Uh, I have done that in other videos, although I tell you, I really like uh, using this argument right here. Ah, now, so those are numbers. And by the way, see there's a 10 there and 10 there? Why is there a repeat? Because these are completely separate calculations. Amongst these three, there'll be no repeats. But this is like separate from this, so of course they're going to be a repeat. What about words? Hey, I have some names down here. I have some names. So we'll just use the index function. Same thing, we've got to highlight everything in advance because I want to return, I want to select three names from a list of 10 without a repeat. So I say index. Index is a great lookup function. You give it the array of values. There's 10 names there. Uh, and you don't have to uh, lock these because when you do an array, it, it will ignore the fact that there's relative or absolute. Comma, and then the row number, this is where we use mrand again. So mrand. And I'm going to say, uh, let the size, 1, 2, 3 of the selected range for the first argument determine how many. Comma, I'm going to say, hey, start at 1 and go to 10. Close parentheses. Clo if you wanted to, you could use the count uh function there. So there we have it. Uh, control Shift Enter, and now we get uh, uh, Mo, Joe, and Sue. You can see if we hit F9, it randomizes it. You can see right there we get 24 to 33. You can see down here we still have 24 to 33 because it's an array uh, a formula or that part of it was entered as an array. That B24 to 33 won't. Uh, a change. Now let's change one last thing. Let's try that volatile thing. I'm going to hit the F2 key on the active cell, and I'm going to come down to this. We have 1, 2, 3. I'm going to add that fourth argument, 1, or true. That says, hey, this is no longer volatile. So when I Control Shift Enter, those are the names. If I hit the F9 key here, you can see this isn't changing. If I put it back into edit mode and remove it or put a 0, Control Shift Enter, you can see now it changes. 
I'm going to hit F2, leave this as a static. I kind of like that. Boom, that's it. Those are the three winners. There's no F9 in or change in it. Boom, Joe, Tin, and Sue. All right, so MRAN, totally awesome function, a couple of great uses. We'll see you next trick.